Did you know that your smart home setup is probably broken right now? I'm talking about compatibility nightmares, slow responses, and devices that simply refuse to talk to each other. But what if I told you there's a protocol that just solved all of these problems? Hi there and welcome to a smarter house. Smart homes made simple. Today we're diving into the Matter Protocol. Let's get smarter. Matter Protocol has grown an insane 185% in just 12 months, with over 550 companies now supporting it. And by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why Matter isn't just another smart home buzzword. It's the future that's happening right now. Here's a stat that'll blow your mind. Matter devices respond up to 10 times faster than traditional Wi-Fi smart devices. We're talking millisecond responses instead of those frustrating 2-3 to three second delays. Plus, Matter Protocol now supports over 800 certified devices from brands like Philips Hue, Acara, and Samsung, meaning you can finally mix and match without compatibility headaches. But here's the kicker. Most people are setting up Matter completely wrong, missing out on 90% of its potential. Let me break down what Matter actually is, because there's a lot of confusion out there. Matter isn't a new wireless protocol like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Instead, it's like a universal translator that runs on top of existing networks, Wi-Fi, Thread, and even Ethernet. Think of it this way. Imagine if every smart device in your home spoke the same language, regardless of brand. That's Matter. Developed by the Connectivity Standards Alliance, which includes Apple, Google, Amazon, and Samsung, Matter creates one unified standard for smart homes. But here's what makes Matter revolutionary local control. Unlike traditional smart devices that ping servers in China or California every time you flip a switch, Matter devices communicate directly within your home network. This means your lights turn on instantly even if your internet goes down. We're talking about true local control with military-grade encryption. The protocol supports thread networks which create self-healing mesh networks. If one device goes offline, the others automatically route around it. It's like having a backup plan for your backup plan. Let's talk about what this means for your smart home setup. First, setup time. Traditional smart home devices can take 10 to 15 minutes each to configure, downloading apps, creating accounts, fighting with Wi-Fi passwords. Matter devices? Average setup time is under two minutes. You literally scan a QR code and you're done. Speed is where matter really shines. Tests with identical Philips Hue bulbs. One using the traditional Zigbee hub, another using matter over thread shows the big difference. The matter bulb responded in 40 milliseconds, the traditional setup over 300 milliseconds. That might not sound like much, but when you walk into a room, that difference between instant and sluggish response changes everything. But here's the game changer, cross-platform compatibility. You can buy an Acura sensor, control it with Apple HomeKit, Google Home and Amazon Alexa simultaneously. No more being locked into one ecosystem. No more compatibility research before buying devices. If it has the Matter logo, it works with everything. Energy savings are massive too. Matter Protocol's efficient communication reduces device power consumption by up to 40%. For battery-powered sensors and locks, this means 5 to 10 year battery life instead of 1 to 2 years. That's fewer battery changes, less maintenance, and more reliable security. Matter 1.4 launched in late 2024 and it's packed with improvements most people don't know about. Enhanced multi-admin is the big one. This means you can have your smart thermostat connected to Google Home for voice control, Apple HomeKit for automation, and Samsung SmartThings for advanced scheduling, all at the same time, without conflicts. The new energy management features are incredible. Matter 1.4 now supports solar panels, battery storage systems, heat pumps, and electric vehicle chargers. Your smart home can now automatically shift energy-hungry devices to run during off-peak hours, potentially saving you hundreds on electricity bills. I'm talking about your water heater, EV charging and air conditioning all coordinating to minimize costs. Scene support got a massive upgrade too. You can now create time-based scenes, like slowly dimming lights over 30 minutes for bedtime routines or gradually brightening them to simulate sunrise. And these scenes work across all your Matter devices, regardless of manufacturer. The quieter reporting feature reduces network chatter by up to 60%. This means better battery life for wireless devices and faster response times for your entire smart home network. Let's talk about the best matter devices to buy right now. For lighting, Philips Hue leads the pack. 
Their new 2025 bulbs support matter over thread natively, meaning you don't even need a hue bridge anymore. Plus, they've reduced power consumption by 40% while improving color accuracy. For sensors and automation, Akara dominates. Their Hub M3 connects up to 130 thread and Zigbee devices, acts as a matter controller, and includes a 360-degree IR blaster for controlling non-smart devices. At under $150, it's the best bang for your buck. Their FP1E Presence sensor is a game changer. It detects human presence even when you're sitting still. Perfect for bathroom lights or security automation. Smart locks, the Nuki Smart Lock Pro 4th generation. It unlocks in under one second, faster than any competitor, and uses matter over thread for instant response and exceptional battery life. Yes, it's expensive at over $300, but the convenience and security features justify the cost. For budget-conscious setups, focus on smart plugs and basic sensors. Linkind makes compact matter plugs that don't block adjacent outlets, a common frustration with bulky smart plugs. At under $15 each, they're perfect for turning regular lamps into smart lights. Here's my step-by-step -step matter setup guide that actually works. First, choose your primary ecosystem. Don't try to juggle Apple Home, Google Assistant, and Alexa from day one. Pick one as your main controller, then add others later. You'll need a thread border router. If you have an Apple HomePod Mini, Google Nest Hub, or Amazon Echo fourth generation, you're already set. If not, a dedicated thread border router costs about $50 and supports way more devices. Setup order matters. Install your thread border router first, then add devices one at a time. Don't rush and try to add multiple devices simultaneously. This causes conflicts and frustration. Each device should fully connect before adding the next. Firmware updates are critical. Before adding any device, check for firmware updates through the manufacturer's app. Even if your smart home app says up to date, double check on the vendor's website. Outdated firmware is the number one cause of connection problems. Placement is everything. Thread devices need to be within 30 to 50 feet of each other to maintain mesh connectivity. Avoid placing devices behind microwaves in metal cabinets or near Wi-Fi routers that might cause interference. Let's address the most common matter problems and solutions. If devices keep disconnecting, check your network setup. Many routers broadcast both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz on the same network name. Create separate networks, use 2.4 GHz for matter devices and 5 GHz for your phones and laptops. Multiple thread networks cause chaos. If you have Apple HomePods, Google Nest devices and Amazon Echoes, they might create competing thread networks. Use your router's admin panel or a thread network debug tool to identify and consolidate networks. Device not responding? Don't immediately reset and re-add it. First, restart your thread border router, wait two minutes, then test the device. This fixes about 70% of connectivity issues without the hassle of repairing. For battery-powered devices that seem offline, they might just be conserving power. Press a button or trigger the sensor manually. This often wakes up the device and re-establishes connection. Matter's roadmap is impressive. Matter 1.5 will add support for security cameras, video doorbells, and advanced automation triggers. We're talking about facial recognition automation and activity-based scenes that adapt to your daily routines. The cost benefits are substantial. Smart home technology typically adds 3 to 5% to your property value. That's $15 to $25,000 on a $500,000 home. Energy savings alone can reach $1,300 annually through intelligent automation and load shifting. We're looking at payback periods of two to three years for comprehensive smart home setups. Here's the bottom line. Matter isn't just another protocol, it's the unification of smart homes. In 2025, buying non-matter devices is like buying a flip phone. You'll get basic functionality, but you'll miss out on the ecosystem that makes smart homes actually smart. Start with lighting and sensors. They provide immediate value and showcase matters benefits. Then expand to locks, thermostats, and energy management as your confidence grows. The smart home revolution is happening now. Matter Protocol gives you the tools to build a system that actually works together, responds instantly, and grows with your needs. Don't get left behind with yesterday's compatibility nightmares. Embrace matter and welcome to the future of smart homes.